Um, we uh, have in our staff, we have prayer intercessors, and that's lay people that have uh, partnered together with staff people. And so we try to have prayer intercessors for our staff, and they pray for folks and uh, pray for the staff and one person in particular. So my wife has had the pray, same prayer intercessor um, for about 15 years. Some of you may know her. Um, she's gone on to heaven now just recently this year. Her name is Sandy Bell, saint, amazing lady within our church, great godly woman. And so she was my wife's prayer partner. In the four and a half years they were looking for the pastor um, and, and pastor's wife as well, uh, she was praying for that lady. Then we got here, and so for 15 years, she um, prayed for Kelly and would pray they would get together and pray together, different things. So Sandy gave us a lemon tree one day as a gift. And so we got this lemon tree, and one of the scariest things you can give Team Mott is a living plant, okay? That's one of the scariest things we can get, especially when it comes from like your prayer partner. You know, so you're like... This is like of, of the Lord, living plant. So we took it and we had it planted. And notice I said, had it planted, not planted, had it planted in the backyard. I believe in supporting the local economy. So I believe in yard service uh, businesses and um, haven't owned a mower in decades and never intend to, okay? And so we've got this lemon tree gets planted in the backyard so that Kelly can see it out the window. And that was about five to seven years ago. And I mean... If we could kill a plant, if anybody kill a plant, we can kill a plant. So Sandy, she'd, she'd call wanting to pray. We'd say, no, Sandy, we'll meet you at your house. Uh, usually we'll come over to where you are type of thing. And we don't want you to see this lemon tree that's going on. But we kept it there and it, it took off uh, well enough. And so we never have had any fruit on it until this year. This year. It's about five to seven years of this tree in our backyard. No fruit. We just kind of, if you will, going with the illustration, we stayed faithful. Let me show you the fruit from this year. This is just this year from this lemon tree. That's from our backyard. Isn't that awesome? This fruit here, after five to seven years, and we've given away some lemons. I finally told Kelly, quit giving them away. I need it as an illustration, okay? <laughs> this fruit... Lemon after lemon, it's so fun. And here's what we've done as a family. And I want you to steal this in your family and your life. Here's what we've done as a family. Kelly and I will just look at each, other, uh, at each other sometimes and just go, lemon tree. We'll just see fruit blossoming in an area of our life that has been dormant for years, possibly months. We didn't know how it was gonna turn out. And we just say, lemon tree, look what God can do. And I just want you to see these beautiful yellow lemons to be able to see eternal truth leads to eternal fruit. Stay faithful. Find the ancient way and walk in it in your parenting, in your marriage, in your singlehood, in your midlife, in your boomer and beyond. And let God do something to blossom this. So now Sandy's in heaven and her life's blossomed in a whole different way, isn't it? And here we are with a remembrance and symbolic of this blossoming in our very own backyard. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.